Hey, welcome back to a brand new episode of 101 Second Reviews and today I'm going to be talking about this Lenny Abramson's, Lenny Abramson's, wow, say that quickly new film, The Little Stranger in it, Don Gleeson plays a doctor who is obsessed with like a local house that he went to as a kid a very rich, very kind of grand house that is now on hard times and there might be something in the house or there might not be something in the house it's up to you to decide. Okay, review in a second. Okay, right, The Little Stranger, the brand new movie by Lenny Abramson, the man who made Frank and Room, of course, recently. Um, I came out of this and I really was, it forced me to think about it. It was not what I expected it was going to be and then I found out something that explained it to me. The trailer undoubtedly makes it look like it's a ghost story. And uh, the director and the star have basically, in every interview they do, the only thing they say is, this isn't a horror movie. This is not a horror movie. And it isn't. They say that it is a, it's not a ghost story, but it's a story with a ghost in it. And that is the perfect description to a certain extent. This is not in any way your conventional scare, jump scare horror movie. This is a film with social context. This is a film with class context. This is a film about repression. This is a film about carrying a chip on your shoulder. It has nothing in any way, shape or form to do with horror. In it you've got Donald Gleeson who has been born in the lower classes, has worked to become a doctor, so has now become into the upper class, well, middle upper class, let's say, but he wants to aspire to something greater. But the people we meet in it who are upper class are in no way happy. Everything around them is crumbling. That life that they knew is falling apart, just like the houses. And yet he wants to aspire to that. And the problems that arises with that is what the movie is all about. One thing about the movie that is sensational, among many other things, is Ruth Wilson's performance as the main female character. She is stunning in it. She's given the best part and she makes more than enough out of it. This is a film that when you leave the cinema, or I did, I just thought about it every day, every day, every day, and it just gets better and better in my mind. Loved it. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll be back again soon with some more reviews. Thank you.